so that was a little bit description of the configuration files of the main configuration files that asterisk use now let's see what are the commands that asterisk use that we can use to start asterisk or to connect asterisk the first command you can see that is uh, usr slash asbin slash asterisk you can start asterisk or you can start asterisk by service space asterisk space start or you can also start asterisk by asterisk minus vvgci or you can connect asterisk by asterisk minus r or asterisk minus vvvr or minus r or minus r v v v v. This is the screenshot of asterisk console or asterisk CLI that you can see here when when we first start asterisk. These are some basic commands like help, reload, stop, exit. Their names can easily specify what they can do. This is one of the configuration file named manager.conf. The manager the asterisk manager interface is an API which external programs can use to communicate with and control asterisk. So we can set another program, external program like web server to communicate with asterisk using manager.conf like it is being done with asterisk now. Asterisk now is a GUI version of asterisk which you can install and which you can which is very easy to install. In Asterisk now all the operations are performed automatically. Like you just need to download the ISO file and then you need to burn CD and after that you just insert your CD in the CD ROM and after that all all the process is very user friendly. So I would suggest if you are not familiar with Asterisk you first go for Asterisk now install it and then use it how it works. This configuration file is named as cdr underscore custom dot conf. Asterisk will generate a cdr for every finish call by default. This file defines exactly what gets logged in the cdr line. So we can see that here is CLI, source, destination, decon destination contacts, channel, destination channel, last app, last data and we can see the disposition of the call answer if it if it was answered or hang up or congestion and you can also see the unique ID of the call plus the call duration and the country code plus the call duration and the exact time at which the call was answered